Remember when you have any question about a particular certification and its requirements, your answers are just a click away. Head up to Cisco.com, go to the training and events area, and one of the things you can do I love is just go to view all certifications. This is a great map of all of the Cisco certifications. We're interested in the CCNA data center, so go ahead and click on that, and we remember that there are no prerequisites for the CCNA data center. That's a bonus. We have two exams, two courses, the DCICN exam and course that I walked you through here already at CBT Nuggets, and then our focus, 64916 DCICT is your exam. Click on this particular hyperlink and you'll get more information. It's a 90 minute exam with about 65 to 75 questions. It's offered in English and Japanese. We register here at Pearson View. Here are some policies and requirements that you and your attorney should read closely. And then this is important. You want to review the types of exam questions. This is a tutorial that's going to show you your types of exam questions that you will face. Be sure to practice with this prior to going to your exam. The last thing you want to do is fumble with the mechanics of the question types in the actual exam environment. Go ahead and fumble around and experiment with them before you go to the exam. Of particular interest here is the simulation type questions. I mean, we're probably all going to know how to do multiple choice and drag and drop. That's no big deal. But here you can see they're going to walk you through the simulations that you'll have in the exam and how those work. You will indeed face simulations in this exam environment, so be sure you practice with this interface prior to running off to the exam. Now, something else that's very valuable here that you want to take a look at is the exam topics area. Yes, I'm going to be walking you through every single one of these exam topics in depth. You might want to copy this to the clipboard and then paste it into something like Excel, and you can literally make yourself a checklist in Excel, or whatever your favorite app is for such software, and then go ahead and literally gauge your knowledge of these topics as we move through them. So valuable resources up here, and of course that is a nice review for us of what is required in order to achieve the CCNA data center, and it really comes down to two exams. Now, what are you in store for in this particular series? Well, we're going to start out by talking about the Cisco data center architecture. Yeah, you're really going to enjoy this, even if you're not into design topics. I think you're really going to enjoy taking a bird's eye view of the exact architecture that Cisco likes to promote when it comes to building a data center. Then we'll get real practical real quick. We'll take a tour of the Nexus and the MDS family of devices. So you'll get to know components like this fabric interconnect we have depicted up here, and we'll get to know the storage equipment of Cisco as well. We'll then talk about key monitoring capabilities that you're going to want to have when it comes to this Nexus equipment. We'll then talk about virtual port channels. Sure, you're probably familiar with Ether channels, where we use multiple links redundantly to connect two devices together, and we trick spanning tree protocol. We covered this in depth in the previous series here at CBT Nuggets on CCNA Data Center, but we'll kick it up a notch in this particular course, and we'll talk about virtual port channels, the ability to bundle connections together that are leading to different devices, something that we never thought possible with Ether channel. We'll talk about overlay transport virtualization. Yeah, we'll talk about how easy this technology is to connect multiple data centers and to not have loops at layer two when we do that. We'll talk a lot in this course about virtualization. We'll focus on virtualization of things like network devices, virtualization of storage, virtualization of storage, of particular servers themselves, and any discussion of virtualization in Cisco wouldn't be complete without focusing on the 1000V, that remarkable virtual Nexus switch from Cisco and VMware, and we'll be going in depth on two nuggets, by the way, two nuggets dedicated to that remarkable, remarkable device.
We will focus on storage area networking in this course. We'll talk about fiber channel as a result. We'll talk about fiber channel over Ethernet in this course in depth. We'll talk about things like data center bridging. Lots of important acronyms for us in the modern data center. We'll focus on fabric extension and our fabric extenders and the Nexus 2000 series. And then we'll also be focusing on the UCS, C-series servers that are available now from Cisco, B-series servers that are available from Cisco, and the UCS chassis and UCS manager itself. So this is really, really a remarkable in-depth series on the lifeblood of Cisco data center cutting edge technologies. And I'm so glad you're here with me.